Our next case this evening is REZ 2015-OH, Edward Jeans, LLC. Staff, would you mind presenting at this time? Yes, sir. Subject property in this case is a request to go from an R10 zoning to a CG zoning. I do have an update on the particular use. I did speak with uh, someone involved with the project, uh, Mr. Holland, who I anticipate speaking here in a few minutes, and just verify the potential use. And um, They do not anticipate doing any kind of retail use with this property. They do anticipate a speculative building for a commercial contract. So that should uh, help clarify what their intentions are with the property. But ultimately, at the end of the day, they still are asking for that general commercial zoning, which will allow for uh, some retail and so staff is still recommended for approval with those two conditions regarding the lots and also regarding the proposed uh, building uh, storefront. With that, uh, I think that's all the updates that I do have to try to address questions that you have. We do believe it's ready for your recommendation tonight. Commissioners, are there any questions for staff on this request? Mr. Paulson? Jason, are we still working on the two conditions that the uh, new combined the all the ways that it's done. Yes. Any other questions from staff commissioners? Be no more questions at this time. If there's anyone here wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward and state your name and address for the record, please. Bill Holland, and I live at 828 South Lake Shore Drive up here in Valdosta. And uh, we're requesting this to build a uh, uh, commercial building on, the, on this property, and it's right next to commercial property, and we feel like it, uh, it would better, ser better serve the community in the it's kind of an eyesore right now, and we expect it's going to have to make a difference in place. I just came to ask you, answer any questions that anybody might have. Commissioner, do we have any questions for us, Tom? Just do you have, have to any of what you're looking at, even though I know it's when we approve this, it's well, going to be open to whatever the zoning allows. But. Yes, sir. We kind of specialize in small metal buildings, probably for contractor offices or stuff right. like that. We are willing to do whatever that is required for vegetation and landscaping and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I, I, the reason I ask is, is it adjoins the residential right there too. Yes. Yeah. Trying to keep them on. That's all. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? I have Commissioner Black. No. Commissioner Record, please go ahead. Go ahead, sir. They almost got away, didn't you? Uh, did, you're aware of the two conditions and uh, specifically the storefronts on all proposed buildings you'll face Madison Highway. Are you comfortable with that? We're not going to have any storefronts. We don't, we don't normally build storefronts, so we won't have a storefront. Uh -huh. But you're aware of the conditions? Yes. So you've got no objection? Yes. Yeah. In case somebody comes behind you and wants We're to also go. aware of the, uh, the vegetation requirements. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. Very good. Thank you. Commissioner Lamb, Actually, I have the same question. But I wanted to make sure also condition number one, you're aware of that, meaning the condition where both lots needed to become uh, one. Yes. That number, you're okay yes. With that. Okay. Commissioner, do you have any more questions for the presenter? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Is there anyone else here wishing to speak in favor of this request? None B, is there anyone here wishing to speak in opposition of this request? Please come forward, state your name and your address for a record, please. My name is Ernestine Preston. I live at 1413 Weinberger Drive. The property that's being requested to be rezoned is directly adjacent to my property and it literally backs up to my side door. 
this is a residential area, and when I purchased the property, I purchased it because it was a residential area. I think to change it to commercial would not only do a disservice to the neighbors, but also to the community. And especially since the property line is here, and I mean it's right at, at my door. And to have a commercial building at my door, I think it's not only a disabled service to the community, it's a disservice. I purchased the property because it was a residential area. Commissioner, do we have any uh, questions for the presenter? Go ahead. I would Commissioner Glad, I'll let you go first this time. Just clarification. So your residence is that house directly to the right of where the property is, the, the house is. The very first building directly to the eastern border. That's correct. Are you aware that the behind you is a manufactured so well, that whole street behind me, it's that's the Gill Harbor. That whole street is a is commercial, right. Mm -hmm. But the um, Madison Highway and that, that whole area is residential. Is there a buffer between your property on the back and the commercial to the other side from Gill Harbor? Is there, what, what well, is there's there? like a, there's, on my property there's a lake, okay? Uh, and the lake also goes over to the other, um, I think like the city, which is like a park over in the area. She's talking about just the eastern house. Right. Are you the one with the red roof on that roof? Probably. Is this you right here, ma'am? That probably would be you. This is the subject property right here. Right. And so this is you. Mm -hmm. So it's shown as one piece, but I thought it was two. Is that right? I don't mean to interrupt. But yes. Get a clear picture. That first rectangle right there with that one house on it is the two pieces of yes. property that, that we're dealing with right now. That's, first the, that's, that's one of the two. I believe Commissioner Wood. That's right. Huh? That's the one of two where the house is. That's right. right. There's only one house on it. Yes, so that's just more than two pieces. You have the, the property with the house on it, then you have a vacant property, which is part of the request, and then you have Miss Ernestine's residence, which is the red roof. Okay. Let's get that clear. The survey, the survey included actually the
questions for the presenters? your property there was a house there did you build it? No, the house is there. It was there. Mm -hmm. When you bought your property, did you have any covenants or contracts saying that the surrounding property around it did not be rezoned? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no fence between you and that open wire there now, right? Right. I don't know if there's a fence between the 
her property. Still, I know a fence on her property, but not on the some the northern property. Yes. I don't know if there's a fence on the northern the show that show behind her house. Yes, sir. If you look at the area, there's a tree line there. Right. I know there's vegetation. I just don't know of a fence. I don't. Mr. Paulson. Yes. Says what? What is it? One big thing. Why? Farm. Sir, we, we considered that condition. We didn't put it on there, but that's that's valid concern. We just didn't go as far as condition. That's valid. I don't know any restrictions they would have on lighting we had a, a specific use for it that we don't have a general condition on right now. One more question. That's it. In, in case of one that's where you have commercial or residential on this particular you get close to the I'm sorry. I mean, in cases where you have commercial correction and residential. Any thought given to uh, you know, uh, use requirement or use restrictions, hour restrictions, such as not past a certain time? We, we consider those, and our current noise ordinance would kick in at 10 p.m. and carry it all the way to 7 a.m. And so the question for us was do we feel like they'll be covered under noise ordinance or do we want to kind of go to retail like the old ones would cover? But certainly, when you get residential and commercial so close, in the past we have considered, and so has the commission, our restrictions, our operations. I have one more question. Mr. Jason, one more. Is there any kind restrictions on the commercial zone? Yes. Uh, without conditions, they'd be restricted to 45 feet of maximum building height. What is the restriction for the residential? Um, for R10, it would be 35 feet. Mr. Chief, any more questions? Any more discussion on this motion, on this uh, case this evening? If you no more questions or no more discussion, I will entertain a motion on this case. Mr. Chair. Second by Commissioner Fulton. <coughs> All those in favor signify by raising your right hand. Five. Let's do that again. All in favor of two, raise your right hand. Well, we're going to have a discussion before the vote. Yeah. If, if uh, okay. Discussion. I would for it just redundant. That's already in there. Does, does that need to be in there? That's all. The what now? Sorry. 
four about the six foot fence that comes under ordinances that's a redundant condition is it is it an ordinance i thought if the buff if it was a 30 foot buffer the fence was not required if you do a 30 foot buffer a fence is not required if you do 15 if you shrink that distance we say that's okay but you now have to construct a fence so it, it is still their choice unless you condition it and i said the six foot fence to give a little more privacy and it's going to shrink the, the other buffer but it's still going to be free and all that okay that's fine i mean just need to okay any more discussion on the motions I, I just, I have a tad bit of a heartburn. Anytime someone purchases a piece of property and uh, what, what you start to say, well, they should go check to see if this was going to be a covenant and would they ever change this? Would they ever change that? Uh, I know maybe she should have. I do not know. Uh, I'm not sure that's our job to ask her that. I do think it's our job to look and see if this property, property is going to be properly used, number one. I do think we have to think in terms of uh, the good of the community, number two. And I think uh, if we are not very careful, I think we will get some bumps in the road that are not good. It's, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm thinking wrong, but I'm just saying this. And uh, I see some people come in here and, they, and it goes through sweet black candy. And then some people come through here and I will give them all kinds of obstacles. And I think it's good that we are cognizant of that, lest we slide on the slippery slope. That's all I have to say. Okay, we right now have a motion and three extra conditions by Commissioner Willis. We have a second of that motion by Commissioner Folsom. At this time, if we're ready to, we take a vote. All those in favor of, please raise your right hand if you're in favor of the motion. We have four in favor. All those opposed, raise your right hand. So we have four opposed. <laughs> I was hoping somebody would redo the motion, but uh, with that being said, I would think that my vote as being the chairman would be cast toward Mr. Willis's motion and Mr. Folsom's second. So I would be in favor of the rezoning of this piece of property. Yes, ma'am. That concludes our Lowndes County cases. We have one city of